Hey guys, if sometimes you have leftover bananas and you didn't have time to finish them and in the meanwhile they turn like this, nobody lo loves to eat bananas that look like this. What you can do with these is make banana tea. It's healthy and it's good and it's supposed to make you calm, but I just, um, I just love the taste of it. So what you do is just wash your banana because we're going to boil this, including the skin. So don't peel it, just including the skin. Wash it thoroughly and then cut these ends, throw them away and then cut the banana itself and um, just dice it in uh, pieces that are similar to each other uh, size-wise. And then just boil them. Boil them until the water starts to boil and the banana starts to become uh, soft and mushy. And that's it. There's your banana tea. So if you, you cut the banana like this, you'll help the banana to release its flavor into the boiling water even faster. All right, and then just put it on the, war, uh, the fire and just boil it. You can actually, do, uh, you can do this with all kind of solid fruit. So think about um, pears, think about, um, Think about uh, pineapple, think about apples, what else? Think about peaches. So yeah, all the fruit that's some, somewhat solid, that has somewhat a solid structure. I guess you can do this with all kind of fruit. I haven't tried that, but um, yeah, if you like strawberries or whatever, or blueberries, Pineapple. just <laughs> make your own tea, guys. Everything. Make it fruity. <laughs> <laughs> Make your fruity tea. Fruity tea? Fruity tea. <laughs> hey, that's maybe a brand name I should bring out and just fruity claim it. Tea. Fruity tea. Just claim it as our own, as a trademark. Banana tea. As a trademark, yeah. The banana tea. Yeah, we made this yesterday. Mike liked it, but I can imagine why he, he, he wouldn't want to have it again today. Can but you make me cupcake tea, please? Cupcake tea. No, that's going to be a mess, lemon cupcake. Loaf. Lemon loaf tea. Lemon loaf tea. That's what you have. That's what we have. Lemon loaf? No, but um, Mike got us the, the tea master, the tea machine. We, we've been actually using the previous model, and now we have this. And those guys... The model before that as well. Yeah. That's why I said we've been using the previous model, and then this one, and the one before. We've been using this for years. Actually, yeah. I love it. Yes, it's good. And those guys give you all kind of tea flavors. We're not sponsored. Uh, just, I'm just saying because Mike made the joke about a uh, cupcake. They Didn't actually you have. Pay for this myself. <laughs> yes, we paid for it yourself. Oh. But it's good when you pay for something yourself and you forget. Yeah. It's comforting. But uh, yeah, so Mike sometimes sometimes gets us the flavor that's called uh, what is it called, Mike? Blue muffin. Muffin. The blue muffin tea, blue muffin. and I love it. Actually, so so I guess, although Mike is joking, there is muffin flavored tea. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna wait for this to boil. After it boils, let it boil even longer for a couple of minutes. Again, like I said, till the the banana really becomes mushy, and you can either sift it or just pour it like this in a big mug. One indication that it's it's ready is the color starts to be uh, become a little bit darker. I don't know if you can see it, but it already start started. The process already started. Uh, how much water? I think um, I don't know. I think maybe as much as your mug will take plus a little bit because it always vaporizes a little bit so just to make sure that you have a nice decent full mug nice vaporized banana do m one mug of water and then leave this and then add some just to calculate the you know what will vaporize vaporize while boiling so guys can you see the water changing color To go with a banana, or as they call it in the UK, the banana, the banana, or the banana, or the banana in the US, we made a cake that helps the tea go down. It's a layered cake, see? So there is strawberry jam in between. 
Looks so good and it's delicious. And I made it myself. You mix the ingredients, you mean? What? What? I mix the ingredients. It's from Betty Crocker, right? Yeah, but I made it myself, oh. didn't I? Didn't I mix it? Didn't I bake it? So it just depends on the definition of I made it myself. So yeah, I did that. This is a Betty Crocker, but there is also original this Dutch recipes that we shared with you guys when it comes to... But not this one. Not this one. <laughs> <laughs> not this one. Not no. this one. This is from Auntie uh, Betty. Aunt Betty. Look at this. Looks great. Oh yeah, by the way guys, Mike just mentioned it. The cats love, 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 love the smell of the banana tea. They just go crazy for this one. Yeah. Yeah, for some reason if you have cats, even Luna, our Luna is always a little bit intimidated. Uh, they don't drink it, she's an they introvert. Like, they like yeah, they don't drink it, they're not going to drink it, but they love the smell. They just go crazy, crazy. I'm telling you, if you have cats, try it out. All right, my tea is ready. Guys, what better way to drink your tea than from a coconut? See, <laughs> there they are, they're coming. <laughs> they're coming for the banana. They're coming for the banana tea. They're coming for the banana tea. <laughs> See, yeah, this is it. It has uh, somewhat of a... Um, Purple color, maybe, I would say, between uh, gray and purple color. There it is. Enjoy. You don't have to thank me, it's just my gift to you. 